Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, I'm not decorating yet, but guess what I found today? Something to decorate with. I found me a seven and a half, probably a seven and a half foot Christmas tree. I'm gauging it by the, the height of my ceiling, so that's about seven and a half feet. I'll get a little closer and let you know that it works. I came home, plugged it up. It's got this cool little push button at the bottom that turns it on and off. It works! Yeah. Cool. So the Frugal Nista picked up a Christmas tree from guess where? Old Navy? I know, right? Weird. But yeah, that's a Christmas tree, guys. Hey, over here is from Pier 1. Stopped by Pier 1 today to pick me up some stuff. And they had this just waiting on the Frugal Nista. It is a gorgeous collage of frames in a wood, almost like an aged wood. Nothing wrong with this, guys. All of the panes are in it. All of the glass is in it. And I just showed you what was the imperfection. This one piece, which screws in, this one frame, the 5x7 on this side, it screws in in the back. And it screws into the top. And all you have to do is just go get two small screws and screw that in. And yes, I will. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. The frames range uh, into this like little tiny one here. This is a 5x7. They're 4x6. Uh, and an 8x10 in the middle. Really nice. From Pier 1. Uh, staying with Pier 1 also. This tree came from Pier 1, a little Christmas tree. Something that you sit on a table or a desk or in a foyer. Okay, um, now along with it, all of these leaves which came off, I'm going to try to hot glue them back on, which won't be a problem. Actually, I probably could leave it like this, but you could see here where the leaves came off. I'm just going to hot glue them back in. They were just waiting there for the Frugal Nista, um, the cranberries, and um, the leaves, here's a pine cone, a gold one. But yeah, I think I can cover that back up and she'll be good as new. That's pretty, okay? Uh, over here is a radio for the shower. All I did, guys, was come in, I unscrewed the back, and there were batteries already in it, and then I just... Hey. <laughs> it works. Oh, all right now. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, that's enough of that. The Frugal Nista found a radio for the bathroom. It just connects to your shower. Real cute. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all don't know about that, do you? That's grown folks music right there. All right, guys. Okay, uh, up next is this three electrical remote control for the Christmas time. It, can, it allows you to control three electrical outlets. And I'll definitely use that, guys. Like I said, I decorate. I put a tree in every room of the house. And um, that's going to be made good use of. I'm not sure if it works or not, but I'm I'm almost willing to bet, you know, money that it does. So this came from Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay. Also from Bed Bath and Beyond were these uh river rocks. Now you've seen these before. You can do candles with them. Uh one of the bag is open. So rocks are kind of coming out of it. I see why they got rid of it. But they're these kind of rocks, you know. Yeah, so two bags of those. Yeah. I don't think they deserve to be thrown away. And in the eating department over here, some Godiva chocolate. Uh, this is a basket, uh, Christmas basket with Godiva chocolate in it. It is... You know, chocolate cover pretzels. There is some chocolate cover raisins back there. There's some milk chocolate. 
Uh, here is some cocoa. So really, really cute uh, in a decorative bag. And the, the thing that's wrong with this is, is that the bottom piece broke. So what I'm going to do is, is take all the Godiva chocolate out and make another bag because I found um, in, a, in another haul of mine some mugs that I think I'm going to use to decorate and do another um, basket. A decorative, um, you know, basket wrapped in cellophane for the holidays. Yeah. Yep, and this was listed as $15.99, guys. Not bad for Godiva chocolate, because Godiva chocolate is, um, you know, it's up there. Yeah. Now, another thing that I did not know is up there, seriously, y'all, Jelly Bellies? Okay, maybe I've been on a rock for a while, but I did not know that Jelly Bellies, gourmet and all, cost so much. Y'all, this bag of Jelly Bellies was $18.99. I know you can't see it, but trust me. I was like, what? Now, we're not really jelly bean or jelly, um, you know, jelly. We're not really jelly beans eaters. You know, maybe around Easter I might have a few. But I guess gourmet jelly beans are very, very expensive. I did not know that jelly bellies cost as much as a freaking steak. Yeah. So, oh, well. Who would have thought? Okay. Yeah, but I kind of remember now that I think about this, a quick story. I used to work at a convenience store back in college, like 100,000 years ago. Seriously, back in the 80s, when Reagan was in office, he liked jelly beans. And I remember our convenience store had gourmet jelly beans that we used to have to weigh. And my boss told us he would fire us if he ever caught any of us eating these things. So maybe they are expensive. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, $18 now, I think I'll pass on those. But for free, yeah, we'll, we'll take those, and I'll sell them. I sure will. And down here, guys, is a Christmas tree stand. I just picked it up because it was there. That came from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah. The tree, the tree that this was with had some electrical problems, so I threw it out. But I did keep the stand because I think I can probably put that on the table, and somebody will buy it. Yeah. I had a question yeah, for me. Uh, one of my subbies asked me, do I ever shop for the Michaels penny sales? And my question, my answer would be no. I shop at the Michaels free sales. Guys, these are the grab bags that Michaels has. You guys have seen them. If you're any type of crafter, I know you've seen them. Um, but Frugal Nista did not pay $2 for her grab bag. She paid nothing for it. I'm going to open these up, get this stuff organized, and let you see what I found today from Michaels. Let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, here is my Michaels haul from today. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to unpack all of this stuff. As you can see, they were getting rid of their $2 grab bags from Michaels. I opened one, and it appears to be that everything has a fall theme so this they just got rid of all of the fall stuff guys um they range from these little halloween stickers that's two boxes of those um but as you can see how big the bags are you guys have been in michael's you've seen these they'll just have a big table full of these and they call them grab bags so to answer the question have i ever done the penny Sales at Michael's and the like. Nope, because I usually get mine for free. But um, that's all these grab bags. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this garbage bag is just full of them. So I probably have easily maybe 20, 25 grab bags at two bucks a piece. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Uh, suggestions in the comments. I guess I'll save them to next year. I'll definitely be in charge of crafts for my daughter's class next Halloween. Um, I opened one of the grab bags. Uh, they had things like this in it. Here's just a little scarecrow girl. Really, really cute. Uh, part of the Celebrate It line. You've seen these in Michaels. And she was listed at $16.99. Really cute. Sitting on her little bale of hay. Okay. So, yeah, suggestions for that, unless I just store it for next year. 
And then, guys, I found this beautiful garland. Look how pretty. Really, really thick and lush. The real good kind. Yeah, no, the kind I usually get when it's on clearance for 50% off. If you can see the price, these are listed at $20 a piece, $19.99. I have two of these I picked up from another Michaels on yesterday. Um, but very, very pretty. A beautiful, lush. I'll let you show you. One piece is so thick and pretty. Yeah. I think I'll definitely be saving that for me for next year. But two big pieces of garland. Okay. And then here are some Rankins, you know, little um, dishes that can be put into um, the oven. It's like bakeware, stoneware. And this does have like a little Halloween theme. It have, has words like fun. I think the word Halloween is actually on it. Boo, you know, just little sayings for Halloween. I have two white ones that you can actually bake with these. And then I have these two. They're also baking dishes also, but they have a couple of cracks in it. I'm going to fix those guys with some fingernail polish and use that for storage. That black and orange is cute. And then here is a green and black. And as you can see, it has a chip here and a chip here. I'm just going to fix that with fingernail polish and use it for storage. Okay. Now under here, I was so glad to get these. These are baking dishes. Let me move this out of the way. These are baking dishes by Celebrate It. No chips, nothing. It was just a box full of them, guys. Um, that's a Celebrate It brand. It's a rectangular baker. And it's part of the Give Thanks collection. It's in a beautiful burnt orange. Uh, it is a eight and a half by 11. So that's pretty big. You can do a, a cobbler in there. You can do macaroni and cheese. It's really going to be hard for me to get rid of these because I'm thinking for the holidays, um, especially for Thanksgiving, because most of the time I don't expect a lot of company. When I serve from the dinner table, these are so cool just to have to serve from. And that means everything will be matching, especially for Thanksgiving. I have four of these. No nicks, nothing on these. Very pretty. And I went online to see the price of these. These are listed at $7.99. Yeah, but those were all thrown away. It's going to be hard pressure for me to give those away or try to sell them because those are so cute. I can see me doing a macaroni and cheese, my, um, you know, cornbread dressing in this, my asparagus casserole. Yeah, and then everything would be matching. That's so pretty. Along with this garland on the table. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, I can just see it now. Okay, that's it for uh, over here. Now, if we come over here real quick. I found some more garland. The real lush kind. The real, really pretty kind. Now, these pieces are listed at $6.99. They're not as thick as that piece over there. But these are in red. It's like a red maple. And guess how many pieces I found of this, guys? Again, they're $6.99. Here is a whole box of them. Yeah, whole box of them. And on the box, it says quantity 24. So I have 24 of these that never was even put out into the store. Again, just some gorgeous garland. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. I just took three other mounts so you can see them. I'm not sure how long they are, but really, really nice for the fall that they're just getting rid of because fall is over and we're into Christmas season. Look what I found, guys. These gorgeous pumpkins. Pretty, pretty. Now, these list are listed for $3.99. The maker is Ashland. And this one is in a gold a cute little pumpkin slash gourd for the holidays. Here's another one. They never were even put out. And then on this side, so I have six of these color. And then here is a bronze gold, a really, really, like an old age gold. And 
So I have 12, believe it or not, because I have two boxes of those. That's a box under there. So that's one box at the bottom and two boxes here, and they're both filled to the rim. So that is, um, yeah. Yep. So that's that. So that's it, guys, I think, from Michael's. Okay, let's see what else I found.